game by playing Storm. Uh, just join here. Um, and here is an overview of the deck I'm playing. Uh, so I've got my 15 lands. I'm back on the green splash, so I got a Singleton Tropical Island. Got eight fetch lands, uh, four Delta, four Tarn. They each fetch every land that is fetchable, except that the basic swamp can only be gotten by the deltas. Uh, we have, as far as business is concerned, the four Infernal Tutors and the Singleton Cream Tutor. And then we have one at Nauseam, one Passing Flames, one Empty the Warrens, and one Tendrils. I used to play two Passing Flames and have done so for a long time, but have chosen to go down to one to make room for the ad nauseum in the main deck. A uh, decision I may or may not live to regret. I mean, I hope I'll live on, uh, but I may or may not regret it down the line. Um, Grim Tutor over Dark Petition, mainly because it synergizes better with MT the Warrens on those early turns where you're unable to get to, uh, to five mana, but instead are able to get to four pre lines out diamond there you want the grim tutor there instead of dark petition i also think that people seem to have a misconception that grim tutor is by definition worse with that nauseum than dark petition because even though grim tutor only costs three it is uh, also three life to cast so it's actually six that you lose but i mean that doesn't really make sense because a lot of the time you won't like you, you may already have flipped an infernal tutor at this point you're looking for say a lines out diamond then Grim Tutor is just, like, Grim Tutor and Dark Petition are then both sort of bricks in your deck that you want to hit, but if you hit one of them, then Grim Tutor deals less damage. So sideboard-wise, Splashing Green mainly for the 3 Abrupt Decay because I want to be able to have an answer to Aether Swan Cannonist out of the, Mir the new Miracles deck, because uh, counterable removal, like uh, Massacre and Chain of Vapor, Fatal Push, uh, doesn't line up all that well against a deck filled to the brim with counter spells that then resolves a canonist because yeah for, for for obvious reasons we can't go discard into removal on the same turn and splashing green also allows us uh the benefit of sand swarm sort of stocked up on graveyard hate because i expect to face a lot of reanimator but yeah enough of that let us jump into the first match here we have won the dice roll uh Uh, and let us choose to be on the play. This is a perfectly keepable hand. It doesn't allow us a turn one empty the warrants because we only we, we would need a red or a black card to imprint on the chrome mox, and the only two red and black cards we have are the ones we need to cast, but still we get to turn one, ponder, uh, and then possibly see what we can do on turn two. Uh, depends on what we're up against, obviously. But let's, seeing as it's doable here, let's fetch basic island. We can then go basic swamp. And the next turn, we don't want to go basic swamp, though. Actually, we would want to go... Actually, I don't think we need... I don't think we can actually do basic island if we want to be able to do the... the empty the Warren Stark Ritual next turn. So let's just go for the underground sea here the reason being that we still can't like imprint a black card necessarily uh, yeah i think this works let's put tarn at the bottom then dark ritual then ponder because we won't like get crushed by a blind therapy on dark ritual for instance Let's see what we're up against. Planes. That's promising. It could be the new, new Miracles deck, in which case it's not so good. Unless, I mean, if they, they might not force of will. I mean, they might, if they have force, then it's not so good. But we're actually, nah, all right. We're all good. All right, so it's either Miracles or it is uh, Death and Taxes. So what I want to do now is I want to, I guess, play a land. That needs to fetch out Volcanic Island, so let's just do that now. 
and then let's Chromox imprinting the uh, preordain, and then let's ponder and see if we can find like a. Uh, uh, and let's see if we can find a Cabal Therapy. We don't find it, and we don't find another castable spell, which leads me to want to shuffle. Oh, we get lucky. So let's say Stoneforge Mystic, assuming it is Death and Taxes. That is sort of one card that could muck us up here. Uh, where to go? Stoneforge Mystic. Oh, we hit twice. Sweet. Uh, it won't matter now. Uh, flick a wisp. Let's make 12. And let's not flash back the therapy in case. What do I know? If they draw a stone forge and it somehow ends up mattering, but I'm sure it won't. So this is death and taxes. Yeah, they concede. Sweet. All right. So for this matchup, we have the two massacre. We have uh, a chain of vapor and some number of abrupt decay. Not three. I'm not boarding in six cards here, but these are the ones to consider. Uh, so let's see. What don't we necessarily want here? Well, the discard spells are quite lackluster. So we can board out three duress. Therapy can still be nice because I mean dress is so poor because it doesn't take their creatures, but like therapy can still nab like a Thalia. So let's board out at least one therapy though, because we have so much removal and they, that sort of overlaps. Uh do we I guess I only want one a decay. So we've boarded in one chain, one decay, and two massacre. Let's see how that spins. It's funny, I actually, I just played um, played this matchup in paper earlier today and I lost. Because sometimes you lose the die roll and don't have discard and they just have turn two Thalia. This is a great hand, so let's keep this. Uh, we just need them to play planes, ideally. And then we need to hit like a, a Lion's Eye Diamond. Oh well, Caracas is not planes, so that's not so good. Jeez. So let's just play the Delta and pass. We have to assume that they're going to be playing out uh, a hate bear now. There's the beautiful planes, thank you. Thalia, alright. If we don't draw land here, I we might be good, be good to do something. Let's see here, we have... Uh, we have two lands, three petals. We have to spend one mana to cast Massacre through Thalia. So we will have uh, one land, four petals. That's four mana. That's five mana with the Cabal Ritual if, we're, uh, if, if we don't have Threshold, which we won't, depending on what Probe shows us. But yeah, I think we go for it here. Uh, and let's get Underground C, because we can sort of afford... We can't play around Wasteland anyways. If they have Wasteland, um, they're going to take the Volcanic. So we're going to lose one land. And we have so many pedals that can make black mana. So I guess the risk of this play here, we could also just go like land go, Volcanic go. But, and then we could, like if they have a second Hate Bear, that's great. But uh, who knows, they might go Prelate into four, which would suck. And also... Um, uh, what was I thinking? Uh, yeah, no, I mean that those would be the reasons to not wait. The reasons to wait is that they might just we might whiff on the probe, draw into another land, or another infernal tutor, or something that we can't really cast, and then um, they might just have more hate bears. But uh, let's let's go ahead. Uh, all right, so just not a land, please. 
So they have they have nothing else though. That's pretty good. They have the wasteland, and they have a batter skull and a flicker wisp and a caracas and a cavern. All right, come on. Oh, beautiful. All right, so that's a very nice and clean win. Uh, so let's see. We can even get to threshold. The way we do that is we, so we sack all the lotus petals. And we then tap here and we cast the infernal tutor maintaining priority. Then we cast the Cabal Ritual, and then we sack uh, the LED for a red. The LED makes it seven, so now Cabal Ritual resolves. And the Infernal Tutor resolves, and we can just get another Tutor and Tendrils for the win. Uh, yep. Sweet. Nice and clean. So we got lucky there. We probed into the perfect, basically, but there were a lot of cards that would have been good for us there, like uh, any other ritual. Uh, is pretty awesome at that point. All right. Well, that was quick and dirty, just the way we like it against death and taxes. And uh, yeah, I, like I said, like I was saying, it's it's a very it's a losable matchup for sure. I don't think. Anyone who claims that either of these two decks is like a big favorite against the other is right. I think um, I think Storm is favored. I've played a lot of Death and Taxes, just to put that in there. Um, so, not to say like I know what I'm talking about, but just to say I'm, I'm not necessarily coming from a point of extreme bias towards my deck, or you know what I mean. So I've I've really had a I have a lot of love for Death and Taxes. I love the deck. But I would, I would always prefer to be on the side of Storm if I had to choose. But I, I don't think it's by a lot. Um, yeah, and it's definitely a losable matchup for sure. Much more so than some of the other quote-unquote like non-blue fair decks that we can face. So anyways, uh, thanks a lot for watching. And I will be back with the rest of this league. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, Martin here, back with uh, round two of this Legacy League, playing Storm. And we have lost the die roll and get this hand, and this is a pretty clear keep. If we were to draw a Dark Ritual off of our first draw step, or a Cabal Ritual, we can go turn one Goblins. Uh, we could also not do that, not draw, but draw something else, then Delta, Ponder, Find Dark Ritual, do it. And, I mean, all this is, of course, depending on what our opponent does in turn one, what deck they're playing. And then we also have the option of just going, like, swamp, fetch swamp, dress uh, into something. So this is a keep for sure. So let's see if we can make a guess as to what we're up against. What if foothills means either lands or elves, I think, most of the time anyways? Yeah. I would guess elves then because lands just not run dried arbor or it might do but not green sun zenith anyways Whew. okay well i mean so the good news here is that we can go for an ad nauseum we will have one mana floating we will have spent two out of our four lines that i'm though and uh We will have, yeah, spent a petal. I don't love that, especially since, like, four since Dried Arbor off of, uh, I mean, we could lose. They could go, like, uh, let's see. They could go, like, uh, Quirion Ranger. Heritage Druid, Return the Forest, Untap the Dried Arbor, another one mana Elf, then a Cradle, then suddenly they're tapping for a lot of mana and could like natural order us out. But that seems like a bit of a stretch. So alternatively, we just go like uh, 
ponder or hope to find like a ritual to make it a bit more of a safe thing. I think I like that. So I'm going to go for an island here because there is the very, very off chance that we're up against the wasteland deck. Um, like, uh, like the only earth other thing I can really think of is if they're playing, uh, what's it called? Uh, the four color loam deck that would run wooded foothills and dried arbor and they have wastelands and wasteland could really mess us up here. So there is something to be said about taking another land, even though it's not one we really like because that makes the next turn a nauseam a lot better. But I think we can do better than this. The only thing card we can't have in the top two now is a nauseam or we'll be really sad. And also, by the way, in case you're wondering why I'm not just going for Empty the Warrants, it's because against Elves it's like usually quite poor. It, you, you give them two draw steps to just Goldfish you, basically. Plus they can gum up the ground. But now that we got another pedal, it's worth considering it. How much Storm can we make? Well, we're on Storm 1, so it can be Pedal 2, Pedal 3, Diamond 4, Diamond 5, Tutor 6, another Tutor 7, MT 8, MT for 16. Tell you what, if we were able to dress, if we could like move in a dress and into, into that whole equation, I would do it to just to take like a natural order or something. But as it is, I'm going to pass. All right, let's hope we don't get like run out of the game here. Yeah, the aggro loam deck also plays okay no it is elves that is the uh probably the best creature they could have here because it uh makes dried arbor tap for two mana if nothing else and can also like if they're stuck on lands they can replay the forest and i mean even if they were to go for a natural order this turn only the Dried Arbor and the Behemoth could attack. It would have to be a really insane turn two for them to get that up to lethal, I think. All right, so they've replayed the Forest. That means no Cradle. So I think we're probably safe here. Not, oh, okay. Uh, Green Suns for one. What, Wirewood? Okay, no. A Heritage Druid, right. Okay, so now they get, well, they get to ramp up to some mana here. And the Nettle Sentinel will untap, so that's pretty sweet. So if they can get like a Wirewood in here, a uh, Wirewood Symbiote to bounce Elves and uh, recast them, that'd be really good for them. Oh, sorry. So yeah. If they don't know what we're playing, we could be like a Control Deck or Show and Tell. So I'm going to pretend that we have like a... That we have, uh, maybe have a counter spell. Okay, this is really bad now. <laughs> uh, they have the two Nettle Sentinels, so every elf they cast will untap two Nettle Sentinels so they can perpetually create three mana through the Heritage Druid. So now the Wirewood is going to bounce the Elvish Visionary. And now we are actually at a point where they have enough mana where a natural order would kill us, I think. Okay, so they've used the vision, uh, used the symbiote. So now, wow, this is, if they had a glimpse of nature in here, that would have, I think, sealed the deal. So we just have to hope and pray that we don't get killed now. They would also need another Wirewood or Query and Ranger to untap the Dried Arbor. Okay, now they don't have any more Elves, and they have one card in hand, so right now they can't keep making mana. They need the last card. Oh, never mind, I forgot, of course, they just replayed the Wirewood. Uh, re played another Wirewood, I mean. So they bounce the Visionary, so replay that. Wow. Little old elves. 
Just running amok. All right, six mana, death rate. All right, what's your last card? Nothing. Fantastic. All right, well, that should seal the deal for us here. Um. So what we're going to do, we'll, we'll have 10 mana and storm 6, so that we could make it 8 mana storm 7, 6 mana storm 8, 4 mana storm 9, and tendrils. I think that's actually just what we're going to do. Um, so... Oh, they could have, um, like, Mindbreak Tribe, I guess. That could be their last card. Or Surgical. Yeah. That's actually pretty sexy. I wasn't thinking about that at all. Oh, what am I talking about, Surgical? This isn't game... This is game one. Never mind, sorry. Uh, the <laughs> I, got, I got lost in my thoughts here. All right, so this next... Let me just make sure I have it right here. The next tutor makes it uh, Storm 7. We will have 8 mana. Oh, sorry, we will have 10 mana. Then Storm. Another tutor is Storm 8. And we will have 8 mana. Another tutor is Storm 9. Well, yeah, yeah. So we're all good. Get the tendrils. <clears throat> mm, all right, so sideboard wise, we don't want a lot here. We want a way to bounce stuff, because they will have things that we might need to bounce, like a Rurik Thar, or a Gadok Teague. And Chain of Vapor is just a clean answer for that. We don't want Empty the Warrens. Uh, like I said, it's just... It's a lot of the times, it's just not very good. So the thing is, is there anything else we really want to cut from our deck? Well, our discard spells aren't doing a lot, but they... They could potentially slow them down by taking uh, one of their combo pieces or like uh, stop us from running face first into like a surgical extraction or a, or a mind break trap. But I wish I had some like some more business really, I guess. Uh, because I don't think those discard spells do a lot. I don't think Chrome Box really matters a lot either, but yeah, let's keep it in. Let's just light a sideboard light, lightly and do it like this. Uh, let's see how we go. Yeah, that's fine. Like, I don't... I always just expect to get, like, turn one uh, discard, discarded out of Elves uh, post-sideboard. Like, Thoughtseize here taking uh, Ponder kind of sucks. Oh, okay. That seems fairly innocuous. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow, that was filthy. 
All right, so here's the deal. We can go Scalding Tarn, Dark Ritual, Cabal Ritual. That's four mana. That becomes seven with the Lionside Island. And seven becomes five with uh, Casting Infernal Tutor. That means we can get to Ad Nauseam with no mana floating. That loses to a... It loses to Mind Break Trap, basically. Whereas we could choose to, like, uh, dress them and wait a turn. But I. But the thing is, like, even a blind therapy here is, is going to hit something because... The name, the thing's name out of uh, Storm when you're therapying blindly is Infernal Tutor, Dark Ritual, Lines of Diamond, or Cabal Ritual. Cabal Ritual, not really, but I guess. So they'll hit, and I, I have the sneaking suspicion that they're sitting on a therapy that they chose not to blind fire off, but instead wanted to be able to, like, flashback it on the same turn that they cast it. But that could be completely wrong. So they could be sitting on Surgical Extraction, which would also be annoying here because they could take, like, our tutor... Uh, but I, I still like this, I have to say. I'm just going to gamble on them not having uh, the Mind Break Trap. And they do seem to have F6'd, so... Let's see. Uh, all right. So we need to hit petals now. Or chrome box is good. Diamond is decent. We need another petal or petal effect. Or a dark ritual. Cabal ritual. Cabal therapy. Island. Brainstorm. Okay, now we're at a point where we can drop we could drop to four if we hit a past in flames oh sorry drop to two uh but there is a pedal so i think we're good here uh storm is five storm is six seven eight nine yeah with storm is plenty the only question is do we want to keep going because six is not the dangerous life total no i don't think so Uh, let's just probe to be sure, even though I think they were F6 and before. Yeah, all right, they had nothing. Uh, so let's cast this and imprinted the brainstorm. And then let's cast this pedal. Make black. Cabal ritual. And tendrils. All right, GG's. All right, awesome. So that was a fairly, that's a fairly favorable matchup, but I think, I feel like we nearly lost game one there. Uh, and against the favorable matchups, you definitely want to win the first game because it's never as easy as it is in the first game against those matchups. So uh, if you're going to lose, you're, it's likely because you lost the first uh, the first game. But anyways, thanks a lot for watching. I will be back with the rest of this Legacy League. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. Martin here, back with round three of this Legacy League. We have won the dice roll, so let's go. Oh, this is not a keepable hand. We have no mana. So, I've got a mulligan that one. This is fine. Uh, yeah, very keepable. Let's see what is on top. Oh, Lanta Diamond. Yeah, let's keep that on top. Let's just go with the uh, Polluted Delta Go. If we had another land, I would be tempted to go Land Duress just to stop any turn one chalices or whatnot. But, uh,. I feel like this one land is a little bit 
uh, frail in our hands, so we ideally want for that to not be uh, to be uh, the target of a wasteland. When we would have to fetch out underground sea, take a go lands, I guess. Hmm. So let's get an island here and let's cast a brainstorm. All right. So we could, no, we can't do anything this turn. We are cool. This is not going to be great for us, honestly. We're going to next turn. This is the play I think we need to make. We can't really shuffle profitably here. So we're going to put back. Well, let's not worry about that. Tendrils is the second from the bot from the top because we not we don't want to draw that. Then we're going to let's say draw a duress next turn. Put back tendrils. Put back duress. Draw duress. Imprint it on the chrome mox. Then off of petal chrome mox island cast grim tutor sack two diamonds go for ad nauseum with one mana floating and a, an uncracked petal i think that needs to be the, the strategy here uh let's put back the grim tutor just in case oh, i don't know just in case of what one two three four five six uh, yeah. yeah, this is, it's a, I mean, it's a, it's a, not something to complain about on the Mulligan to six, but it's a little bit awkward. Uh, and I'm also just sort of assuming, based on Tega, that they aren't running counter spells, but I guess they could, could be a deck I'm just not, I just don't have on my radar. It's a very feeble opening from lands, if it is lands. Just to go Taiga Go. Well, I guess it is. Exploration. Ghost Quarter. Whoa, geez, we almost got destroyed from putting back the, uh, the Grim Tutor over the Ghost... Or over the... Wow, I can't believe I should have. I should have expected. Uh, not expected. I should have. It should have been on my radar. Radar that they could ghost quarter us. Jeez. All right. Well, we we got we were let off there because we hit the grim tutor on top. If they had ghost quartered us, we could have just chosen not to shuffle. Actually, not to sh not to search. We would still be able to. It would just mean one less mana on our turn. But still. Uh, okay, so let's, um, we're definitely up against lands. Let's imprint this Chromox with the Duress. Uh, the good thing is they're tapped out here, so they can't crop rotate into like Bajuga Bok. And the reason I'm not going for goblins in case it's not obvious is that this being Lance means they have access to Tabernacle and Pendril Veil. Vale, and that just is that completely invalidates our goblin strategy. Um Alright. So I'm gonna go with black black. And we're going to get ad nauseum. Because we don't have any rituals in our graveyard, so passing flames isn't that great. Alright, 17 life. Let's see what we get here. Uh, we're actually at a point right here that if we probe and it's a castable spell, we can just win because. Uh, the storm count is so high and we get these here. 
So it might actually be worth it. The thing is, like, if we probe into... What will be terrible to probe into? Uh, like, I guess... Empty the Warrens would suck a big one to probe into. Any cantrip would really be okay. It's risky, right? And we haven't made our land drop, so a land would be fine. So, how about a discard spell? Probe into that. We will, we have two mana right now. Two becomes four, becomes six. So actually, no, we need to keep going. Yeah, no, what, is, what am I thinking? We don't have enough mana. Um, passing Flames, on the other hand, means that this should be academical, right? So we can go Dark Ritual, Inferno Server for another Dark Ritual, another Dark Ritual. Uh, passing Flames, two mana floating, triple Dark Ritual, Grim Tutor for the win. Yeah. Let's do that. We need three life. We have eight, so let's just probe them, just because. Crop, they have the crop rotation. Sweet. Uh, we get another land, which we don't need. So that's Infernal Tutor for a Dark Ritual. I guess now we don't even need the Grim Tutor because we're going to be Hellbent. Uh, yeah, all right. So against lands, we we will definitely be faced with uh, artifact, uh, hate, hateful artifact. So we want the Hercules Recall. We might want the Chain of Vapor, and we might want one or two Abrupt Decay. So what don't we want? We don't want Empty the Warrens. Uh... I guess we don't really want the therapies that much because I'm not sure what to name with therapy in the dark. If it's like a, uh, like chalice or a sphere of resistance or something else. And seeing as I really don't expect them to bring in any creatures, I think Dress is just better. Um, we cut all therapies. And then one more. What else? Cut the chrome mox. We're not, our life total is not likely to be under pressure, but at the same time, chrome mox just makes a nauseam a lot better. Maybe cut a preordain. Uh, this might be one card too many, I'm not sure. Five is a lot. Abrupt Decay is very weak because it requires us to fetch out the, the tropical island. So is Chain of Vapor though in the face of a chalice. But look, let's try this and we'll see how we go. We might want to, uh, if we lose this game, we might want decays, uh, not, sorry, therapies on uh, on the being on the play. This is an ugly hand. So we're gonna mulligan, they mulligan as well. This is still a pretty ugly hand, but let's keep it. They, they go down to five. They keep their five. Uh, yeah, let's bottom this. It's not a completely obvious bottom though, because we're sort of forced to fetch out basics, or sorry, non-basics here. Ancient tomb, wow, okay. Exploration, wow. Wasteland, yikes. So I mean, if they had a turn one play, like a chalice or a sphere of resistance, no way in hell they in the ancient tomb and play the wasteland. Guess we can find out. Crop rotation, okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're not taking the crop rotation because it means we will be playing into wasteland. Did they scry to the top? Scry. Bottom, okay. So they have mana maze. This is a really cool um, anti storm card that you never see. We can't cast spells that share a color with the previous spell cast. Unfortunately for them, uh, Chain of Vapor still bounces this, but it's, it's nifty for sure. Uh, you know, I think we're going to play out the pedal just in case they end up with like a sphere off the top because I don't want to play my tropical island into, into the wasteland. There's a dark depth, so they, they're still sitting on crop rotation. So now they can crop rotate the wasteland away for the stage, but there's still a few lands away from being able to kill us outright. So I guess now we can fetch out our swamp and take the, like, force them to use the crop rotation. I don't mind that actually. This also means we're building torch threshold for this qual ritual, so I like that. Yeah, putting them to the sword, they have to decide whether or not losing this wasteland is worth it. Or I guess the dark depths, they could, uh, they could crop rotate the dark depths away and grab a ghost quarter, and then ghost quarter our swamp. That would be a pretty sweet play from them. Mistress Factory, interesting. Okay. So a second hate piece from them now would be really troublesome for us. Because, yeah, we only have the one chain of vapor. All right. All right, starting to get burnt a little bit here. Like if I had any cantrip in the graveyard or the, like any ponder or brainstorm, I'd be tempted to just start going with the pass and flames here. So we're gonna play out the underground sea. It's gonna get wastelanded, but we'll have the tropical to be able to abrupt decay stuff. Uh, meanwhile, they just go to town. But it was important to get the crop rotation out of their hand because it shuts off Path and Flames. Okay, let's just let them do that. All right, let's probe for life here. Hope they don't have another crop rotation. They don't, Tropical Island. It means blue. All right, let's uh, ponder. Oh, sure, never mind. I can't. Uh, I forgot the mana maze. Yeah, and we're not ready to... <laughs> we're not ready to, uh, to to do it now. What we're going to do is, if, assuming they don't do anything here, uh, like they don't draw anything relevant, we're going to, on our turn, cast Ponder, and then hopefully find the business we're looking for, then cast uh, Dark Ritual, then cast Chain of Vapor. Yeah, that, that's the, the way to get through the mana maze. But, all right. They have gotten one draw step. They have, I guess, yeah, the blue is, I guess, for the mana maze. It might be like, it's probably actually Ruglands, right? So they'll have like an intuition. All right, come on. Uh, that's not really what we were looking for, but. So I guess we take the lines out of Diamond. 
and we we fetch next turn. Or I mean, do we just do it now and hope that two probes and a ponder is going to be sufficient for us? I actually kind of like that. I don't like giving them more draw steps here. It's really... So actually, let's do that. Because, I mean, any draw step where they actually hit um, a sphere resistance for a chalice, that just means we're probably dead. Uh, also, we don't have, like, infinite life here, but anyways, we could have waited one turn. So let's go Dark Ritual. Now we're free to cast another blue spell. And just in case Storm might end up mattering. No, I don't know. Never mind. Let's not... Actually, maybe let's stack a land here. Yeah. No, we're going to go for it this turn. Uh, so let's bounce this uh, Lotus Petal. And let's sack this Tropical Island. And let's bounce the Mana Maze. So, I mean, if they have crop rotation, then we lose. I'm not sure what they're up. Like, they have one card we don't know about. I don't think they run stuff like Surgical Extraction, but I guess they could. Ah, shoot. Looks like they have it. Ugh, oh, that is just soul sapping. So, Bajukabog incoming... And, yeah, I guess we just have to pass the turn. So they'll have a mana maze in play again next turn. Mm, okay. Yeah, I'll just have to pass. And pass and pass and pass. And hope to draw something. Well, ponder is a start. I uh, think we have to shuffle this. I guess we could Hercules recall the Mistress Factory. See, Mana Maze is only in the same turn, right? Yeah. We could have Mistress, like Hercules, the Mistress Factory. But, yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's shuffle. Grim Tutor is an ironically poor magic card when you're at 3 life. And Russian Port. That's not too bad. We'll tighten the noose even more. So yeah, we've lost uh, this match, but or this game. Let's see what they tap. Our black source. Well, we have the pedal. Uh, actually, so I suppose the correct play here would be to cast Cabal Ritual first. In case we hit another ritual. Mm. We don't. Yeah, we're not getting anywhere here. I don't think. So let's do this. 
guess. I think we're just out. I'm just going to try and see how far we can get. Uh, the answer is probably not very far. Let's get another line side diamond that makes blue mana. So the last spell we cast was black. And now we're going to cast a red one. Um, yeah, it's a problem, right? We need one more mana. Uh, if we had one more mana, we could cast the Cabal Ritual now, then cast a Ponder, then cast... Uh, I don't think there's a way out for us. What are we looking for? Uh, like ponder into lotus petal gives us a broke to cave that doesn't do anything because then we're tapped out. Uh, let's try and ponder anyways. Hmm. Yeah, let's just uh, shuffle here and then concede. All right. So do we want one of our therapies back maybe being on the play, but I'm not really sure what to name to be honest, cause I don't, I haven't seen mana maze out of, uh, out of this deck before. So I don't know if that means they're skewing some of the regular artifacts stuff. Hercules recall also seemed a little bit suspect there in the face of mana maze. Uh, Not really sure, not really sure. I think I like having the fourth discard spell, to be honest. So maybe let's move one Hercules. Let's be on the play. Wow, so close, right? Probe into a land or a petal. And we can go for an ad nauseum. Hmm. But I don't think that is advisable. So let's mulligan. It's a really bad hand. I think we have to mulligan it as well. Sadly, yeah, we keep this. Uh, I'd actually like the pass and flames here. Especially like they've kept seven, so we can assume they're going to hit a hate card. Um, but that's not important. Yeah, I think it doesn't matter because we we have to turn one do something here, so we can just top it. But we're gonna we're gonna fetch island and ponder. That is really really strong. So let's uh, keep it like this and draw the land. Let's play the lines on diamond just to get under like a taxing effect. Come on, don't have the nuts. What's that? Right, okay, well, guess we get to do stuff now if they don't. Okay. Oh, that's just beautiful. Um, or wait, do we want to probe? Just to be sure we're not running into like a... To be sure we're not running into something like a Mind Break Trap. Also, this isn't like... We don't have anywhere near like a deterministic win, I don't think. 
because we'll only have two rituals and a tutor. Um, we won't be hellbent. Oh, sorry, not hellbent. Uh, we won't have threshold, so we'll have exaxes for ad nauseum. And, uh, and be tapped out. So I think it's actually better being at 18 life than being at 16 life and ha than having the information because I think we're sort of prized into going for it here. This is not getting any better for us. The Scalding Tarn fetches a non-basic for black mana. So us knowing about a mind break trap and then not doing anything and then probably losing a little ways down the line. Or us just running the gambit and being mind break trapped. I think I actually just want to put back uh, like a Cabal Ritual and a Gitaxian Probe. And we're going to go for it now before something can happen. Let's just be sure here. Uh, we have six cards. Infernal Tutor will be seven. Wine Simon, eight. So let's see. Pass and Flames will be nine. We'll have one mana floating. So Pass and Flames makes it nine cards. Dark Ritual makes it eight cards. Cabal Ritual still seven. Let's see. Storm is three. Let's see. We go Tutor four. Pass and Flames five. Dark Ritual 6, Cabal Ritual 7, Infernal Tutor 8, Tendrils 9. So we can't do that. If one of these two blue cards was a Gitaxian Probe, we could. But we can't, so... Alright. Let's hope for the best. Playing for the worst. Oh, Dark Ritual and Lotus Petal is nice. Tendrils, that's not bad. If we can hit some more ritual mana, we or ritual effects, we can just natural tendrils them. There's a line diamond. Uh, another LED, so we are at a point where storm is not the issue. We just need to hit one, like a ritual or a petal or a chrome mox. There's a petal. So now I just want, I'm going to keep going because maybe, just maybe they might have something we need to contend with. So if we can find like a discard spell or like say a Cabal Ritual, because right now they could Surgical Extraction or Dark Ritual and we'd be sort of stuck. So while we have the life, I mean, let's just... There's a number of decay. It's a probe. So pass and flames makes it so we can't probe, but I think it's worth taking the risk. Grim tutor. Okay, well let's stop here. And let's uh, get taxing probe for life. Hope they can somehow deal us one. Wow, cool, cool deck. Stand still. So yeah, they almost had, like if they'd had their Ancient Tomb or Mox Diamond, we would have been far out of this game. Uh, so. And we tendrils them for the win. So that was a close shave. But uh, we got there at the end. So we faced three non-blue decks, the three premier non-blue decks of the format, with the latter here lands being maybe a bit off the beaten path. I don't think it's representative for how lands deck usually looks, but yeah. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching. I will be back with the rest of this Legacy League. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, Martin here, back with the round number four of this Legacy League. Uh, we're on the draw. And this is a uh, promising hand, so let's go ahead and keep it. Let's see what our opponent decides to do. Uh, 
this is a hand where our first course of action is going to be very dependent on what our opponent is playing, or how their turn one uh, plays out. Alright, they keep seven, here we go. Uh oh, Blessing Meyer makes me think it's Reanimator, the Black Red Reanimator, but yeah, we'll see. But, yeah, okay, well, that is a pretty big giveaway. So, that is a tough matchup for us. Especially. Well, not especially anything, it's just it's a tough matchup, but we can hope that they don't have redundant discard spells uh, or reanimate spells and that this one dress can muck them up. But it cannot. Uh, I guess they had, they drew the Thoughtseize this turn, or they could have just gone for it with the Dark Ritual. I guess they drew the Thoughtseize or the Dark Ritual, or whatever. Alright, well, we have to take the Animate Dead, because this way they will have to use Reanimate to back Bristlebrand and they can only draw once with him then so let's just see here dark red uh, reanimate thoughts ease and d d delta one two three four and we're taking the animate dead all right we are very very likely to lose this uh, game one here but we have set up our sideboard to have a fighting like a like a fighting chance. We have four sideboard slots, so let's hope. Uh, yeah, let's hope for the best. All right, so I'm guessing we're gonna get thoughts east here. Oh, okay, no, just uh, dark ritual is gone. Reanimate is gone. Their hand is thoughts east, delta and blank. I guess not the delta, they use that. So Thoughtseize and blank, and they draw seven. Let's hope they can't get a second card into play here. So they're gonna take our Brainstorm or Empty the Warrens. I'm guessing Brainstorm. We can't do, with the, the cards we have here, we can't do anything with Empty the Warrens next turn. And it's very doubtful that it would even be good enough, but I mean, they're at three, so if we draw like a dark ritual, we can go dark ritual, ball ritual, dress, empty for eight. All right, they're at one, even faithless living, sure. They're on a pretty narrow line of things that they could do this turn now, being in one life. Uh, they, they can't use reanimate, I guess is what I'm it's basically the only limitation they have, so it's not that unlikely that they will do something. Okay, Gristlebrand into the yard. Discard us again, maybe? With like Unmask? They can't Thought Seize us again. Guess they could Faithless Looting again. Alright, Unmask, sure. So what do, they, what do you take? The ritual. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, we're really. This is looking very, very tough. Uh, I guess we duress. Because what else? Uh, so let's go with their two animation spells. So they have an enemy dead. Uh, then we're gonna therapy out of their hand and they are stuck with a dark ritual and thought sees and they can draw seven cards this turn here which I guess they probably will because that's what every reanimator deck uh, pilot of black red reanimator does okay nah sure that makes sense that's like that's a better line all right Oops, let's cast this ponder. Mm. I 
guess we take this ponder. No! Was that a probe? I could have sworn it was a... I guess I shuffled. I wasn't going to shuffle. I was going to take the ponder. All right, well, let's pass here with the probe in hand. And then if we draw like a ritual and probe into the tendrils and they get greedy on their gristle brand, then maybe something will happen. That's like... Yeah, and no, I wasn't going to shuffle on that ponder. I was just going to take the ponder and ponder again off of our bulk. It's more or less the same. We would have seen one more card that way. I would have been tapped on our blue mana, so like the ponder or the shuffle could have given us, I guess, some brainstorm, but I guess just ponder is better than... Well, maybe not. The brainstorm would have shown us three fresh cards. Okay. They're not far away from being able to just hard cast the Sire of Insanity, which is a creature that deck runs. Okay, so have they been anything? No. Chancellor. They're just digging to find like animate dead or exhume, I guess. Because reanimate isn't going to help them. They find it. They're unmasking us. Okay. Well, that probably shuts us out. Another in tomb. Okay, sure. Show me more of the deck. Tides about tyrant. Oh, that is heartbreaking. So, if we would have probed into a ritual here or a petal we would have won if they hadn't unmasked us so but as it is we're out but let's just see what the probe probe would have uh drawn us no <laughs> well yeah those are the breaks all right so here for the sideboard we want the two tormats crypt and the two surgical extraction and we want a chain of vapor to bounce, like Iona, for instance. Against blue, black reanimator, we want Santa Swarm, but against the black red, we don't, because they don't run counter spells. We don't want empty the Warrens. We don't need the Chromox. Uh, I guess we don't want the Grim Tutor. Because we have sided out empty the warrants. I oh, often pair those two together. We can cut one preordain and probably I'm okay cutting a land. So let's cut the basic island. And we would like to be on the play. Yeah, we keep this for sure. <clears throat> hope they don't chancellor us. If they do, we'll probably just lose the pedal. Uh, they don't chancellor us. Well, I mean, there's a world where we brainstorm and look for uh, an infernal tutor and then ponder off the pedal, sack both diamonds. But I think I'm just happy pondering here. Or am I? Well, I mean, we can like grab the past flames, leave ad nauseum on top, then pedal brainstorm into ad nauseum, 
and we'll draw a dark ritual. I don't hate that. But I think what I'm going to do is I am going to do it on their, their end step. Or am I? Uh, that opens us up to discard spells. So you see, the thing is, the way we do it here, we will have spent two lines out diamonds and a petal. We will have made our land drop. We'll have one mana floating, which will draw the dark ritual off the ad nauseum. But it's very unlikely we'll be able to. Well, not very unlikely, but we'll have to draw a, uh, like an LED one of our remaining two LEDs out of, I guess, 50 cards to be able to combo off. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I guess the only thing we really gain from waiting is we gain an untapped land. I think I'm actually okay just going forward here. Alright. And let's do this. Ponder. Okay, so now we don't know what's coming. Land, ponder, brainstorm. Petal is good. Tendrils is not bad either. Another ritual, and we can go Petal Storm 7, Ritual Storm 8, Ritual Storm 9, Tendrils. So now we just need to hit a ritual or uh, Lines at Iman, I guess. Uh, Infernal Tutor is not great at this point. Dark Ritual. Okay, so we got it. So let's go... Actually, let's... Let's just duress them off this floating mana. Yeah, we can do that because we have two Dark Rituals in the pedal. Show and Tell, that's... Well, that's good. I mean, that... Yeah, that's good to know about that we, we aren't just safe. Wow, they wouldn't even have like turn one show and tell. The Bloodstained Mire, Dark Ritual, Lotus Pill, show and tell. So, good thing for us that we didn't decide to wait. Uh, we didn't show them Tormod's Crypt, we showed them Surgical Extraction. Ideally, we would not have. All right, well, we're on the board against them, which is good. Doesn't really change anything knowing that they have show and tell because we don't we aren't running like fluster storms or anything. I think we just yeah this is this is just fine. Just hope for the best. Yeah, we keep this. We don't have any interaction uh, with what they have, and they've kept seven. Um, if we probe or draw a land, we can go for ad nauseum. We're kind of vulnerable. Oh, okay, yeah, we're kind of vulnerable to that, to the Chancellor. Although it's not impossibly bad. 
we're also just dead to a turn one kill by them. So but it's it's bad in the sense that we have to hope that they that we just first of all we need to not die now. We need to, for them to kind of break here and not keep their turn going after this looting. Um, and then we also need to dr either draw land and then we'll probe have that chancellored land yes okay that's good so i think we just go for it here ad nauseum with nothing floating having made our land drop being at 18 life alternatively we we are greedy and we brainstorm or i guess ponder probably looking for a second ritual but that second ritual has to be dark ritual or I guess a lion's eye diamond would also work, but yeah, no. Let's uh, let's do this. Uh, okay, so the chancellor trigger is gone. Uh, and yeah, we've cited our, out empty the warrants. So we just basically have to go for ad nauseum because we only have one ritual in the graveyard. So going for Passman Flames isn't going to work. If we went for Passman Flames, we would basically be left with uh, one mana floating and one dark ritual and one infernal tutor. So let's hope. Uh, well, Tormut's Crypt means we probably are okay not sort of winning this turn. But nevertheless, let's try and win. Okay, we're not. Well, we've drawn like four lands so far. Make that five. A lot of cantrips. Well, ritual is useful. Six lands. Another Tormod's Crypt. Petal is good. I'm not drawing any business, really. Surgical, great. Alright, so we can set up a pretty decent effort versus... Alright, so now we need to, to, to stop it, to pause here, because we're at a point where if we keep going we can hit a four drop and then we're not able to surgical extraction but I mean I guess surgical extraction is probably not relevant seeing as we have hit two Tormod's crypts so I think we're okay to continue another dark ritual good like a line side I'm now and we have one we don't though so and I don't want to kill myself so let's stop here Alright, let's play out the crypts and the petal. And let's probe to see if we need to worry about show and tell. We do, as it turns out, show and tell, chrome, and tomb, sire, petal. One, two, three, four, five. So they could go Petal, Chromox, and Print, and Tomb, Show and Tell, Sire of Insanity. So we need to discard that Show and Tell. Um, yep. Yeah. You know what? We're going to discard more than the Show and Tell. Let's grab their show and tell. Let's also grab their... See, the thing is, if we grab their sire, that's, it seems kind of counterintuitive to help them get a fatty into the yard. But we have two... Uh, two, what's the majiggers? Uh, two Tormod's crypts. 
and this way we don't lose them just drawing a show and tell which we have no defense against so i actually think i'm going to do that sire of insanity and then we're also going to take or oh, did we have any more discard spells yeah yeah then we're also going to take their entomb so now they're down with just a chrome and a petal and I guess we just pass the turn we have to decide what we keep well we don't keep the surgical uh, we can lose the some of these lands a lot of these lands oh, okay never mind they just concede hmm that's a little bit unexpected or maybe a, even a bit sort of premature we don't have the kill uh, but our opponent decided that they had seen enough I mean they were left with basically nothing and we had like a bunch of cantrips and we just need to find and like a uh, pass in flames or sorry no what's a uh, lines of diamond but all right well yeah we got there that's awesome and uh, I'm I'm not I'm not sure if I, I was about to say unexpected, but with the four uh, really helpful sideboard slots, I'm not sure how much like how well we're really positioned. But anyways, thanks a lot for watching. I'll be back with the final match of this Legacy League. Hello everyone, Martin here, back with uh, round five of this Legacy League. We're on the draw. We get this. Hey, uh, we get this hand here. Um, hang on, just having our opponent chat to us here. I think this is a mulligan. Um, it feels a bit too risky. Uh, We have no lands. If we had a pedal, I would be tempted to keep. I'd probe, hoping to find like another mana source, like a land or a pedal or a ritual, and then we could go for some goblins. But as it is, we have to mull in this. Oh, shoot! I'm double mulligan by mistake. My computer lagged out and I clicked too fast. Jeez, that was that was a uh, miscalculation. Yeah, for sure. All right, well, we're, we're going to keep this. Uh, and we're going to draw this Infernal Tutor. Wow, I hate it when that happens. And it does happen sometimes for me, like my computer lags out. And they probe us. So I guess that could mean a number of things. My guess would be either the Mirror Match or Grixis Delver. And we're sort of none the wiser from this Volcanic Island. So let's just pass here. If it's Grixis, I'm, I have to respect Stifle. Yeah, so it's not Storm. Right, okay. Young Pyromancer, sure. So let's brainstorm here. Fetching Basic Island and into Basic Swamp. Playing around Wasteland. If they daze us, we're gonna pay for it. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna pay. Uh, fetch Swamp, because we can still shuffle next turn off the Ponder, so while it makes her brainstorm less uh, than good, it's still not the end of the world. Hmm. Well, I mean, this means we get to make some goblins. But it's not really... It's not that good, to be honest. But, yeah, well... Because they have the pyromancer, so goblins is a bit of a frail plan. But uh, 
Yeah, we'll see. Also, this is going to be like probably eight goblins. And eight goblins on turn three versus uh, an active young pyromancer is not really where you want to be. But. All right, so let's uh, ponder here. They pierce, okay. Well, I mean, if they don't have any more counter stuff for our two artifact manas, that's just an extra spell cast. So if they know what's what and they have days or force, they will force one of these. Let's lead off with the pedal because if we go the other way around, we'll have lost the Infernal Tutor. And they have an answer, see, but they don't use it. Okay. I guess they don't know about the Underground Sea. All right, well, we get 10 goblins. Could be worse, I guess, but I still don't feel very good. We just do not want to see like a cantrip right now. No. <laughs> well. They don't find another land it appears, which is good for us. Yeah, we're just gonna serve here get them as low as we can they probably will trade three of these so they'll take seven drop to eight oh, sorry drop to eleven and maybe they'll like get a rebuy rebuy with a cantrip here I guess not or what wow okay that's that's lucky for us. I guess they're sitting on like Deathrite Shaman or Force of Wills or something. Wow, geez. They might have a bolt for one of these. Bolt and then block. Oh, even better. Fire Ice. Take out two. Trade. So they only take four. Right. So I guess this is the, they just drew the second card, like the last card they put down, they put back with the force of, uh, the, the brainstorm. Delver, okay, sure. Do you attack here? Yeah, I guess, I guess you do. So do we go for it here? Problem is if they have like force of will. They brainstormed. All right, so basically they, either they, they could have had force of will back in the days, so I was gonna say. I think we waited, we, 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 we'll serve in first here, see if they trade with the Delver. They do not. All right, I'm not gonna do anything here because I think they have counter magic and that will give them tokens to trade. Um, and if they have a, a hard counter like Force of Will, then we're sort of down here because we'll have to crack the LED to get red mana for our Passing Flames. Oh, they don't flip the Delver. Excellent. Another Delver, sure. Whereas if we can get like a red source like if we draw fetch land we can even get the threshold 
Right, okay, so they don't attack now. Wow, pedal, beautiful. All right, let's attack first, see what they do. So they have to block two of our guys. Uh, so I guess they will block with both Delvers, would be my guess. Yeah, all right. So let's see here. If they, oh, okay, they trade everything. I think I'm still going to go for it now while they're tapped out. They could have double force, which would be unfortunate. But no, double force then that means they would die. All right. So the problem here is we have to sort of use up this pedal now <clears throat> in order to get threshold. So let's try here. If they counter this then they counter that. All right. Actually, hang on. Let's uh, play out the diamond first. Because we need the diamond to resolve uh, to get to red mana. All right. So if they counter this, they do. Okay. Force, pitching force. So we have four mana here, makes seven. But the problem is we can't, like, if we sack the LED now, we will have, uh, it's going to be the same next turn, actually. We'll be at a point where we only have two mana, so we and we, we only have a two mana ritual, so we can't have a red mana floating. So I th think we just have to pass here. But I'm not hating our spot. They get to draw a fresh card now, but fetch lands are off, remember? So, and any creature they can play, they will have to, to trade. <laughs> and our little 1 1 goblin gets there off a, mul a mistaken multi five. Well, better lucky than good, I guess. Awesome. All right, so this is Grixis Delver. We want the second Tendrils of Agony because we want, like oftentimes they will greedily use their life for probes and stuff. And um, I don't think we want Ad Nauseam. That means in principle, we don't really want this, the Chrome Mox, although Chrome Mox can work uh, with MT, so. <clears throat> yeah, so let's just, let's keep that in actually. There's a world where we want like a Chain of Vapor to bounce like a null rod or something, but nah, I'm not too worried. All right. Yeah, we keep this for sure. Vulnerable to probe therapy, but I'm okay taking that. We're also vulnerable to wasteland. So do we probe here? They're representing a red blast. Yeah, I don't mind probing. Okay, so they have a th therapy. They, oops. Th therapy. Delver. Pierce. Delta. Waste. One, two, three, four, five. E like trickery. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, so we can fetch basic island. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, we're surprised into playing into the wasteland at some point here. Um, let's cast the preordain. It's the one I mind the least. 
getting pierced. Ugh. So you gotta wonder, are they going to blind therapy? Because if they are, they're likely to name Infernal Tutor, which would be annoying. But at the same time, do we really want to draw the fourth land without having a brainstorm? So I think I'm going to bottom this, draw the tutor, and just hope that they don't blind therapy next turn. But likely they will, looks like it. Or maybe they'll play the Delver, I don't know. They could go like Delver off Volk and then blind therapy. Well, they are blind therapy, so maybe that was... Uh, okay, Dark Ritual. They hit. Now they can uh, de play Delver, Delver and then flash back the therapy if they want to. But that's their only clock, though. They don't. Delta sort of sucks. I mean, it's nice that we can fetch out basic swamp. So I'm going to therapy them here, and if they pierce, we will have traded with the pierce. If they don't pierce, I think I'm going to name Delver. Okay, so they do pierce. So let's ponder here and hope they didn't draw days. Does this work? Well, we're a couple of turns away from... I mean, on turn four, if they haven't drawn like really well, we'll be able to win. But that's a pretty big if. Because we need to make both land drops. Alright, so let's... Uh, let's not draw the tutor or the ritual to not be redundant. And let's draw the dress here and see what happens. Um, there's a Delver. Are you going to flash back? Okay, double Delver, so I guess they probably will flash back here. Probably take the Tutor. Which is actually not the worst for us. Uh, they name Infernal Tutor. It's pretty bad if they have Surgical. So we draw the uh, Cabal Ritual now. No, tell me you didn't also draw a surgical. I'll be really sad. They're pausing on our upkeep. All right, play the Sculling Tarn. And then we're going to hope that they don't get to wreck us on this turn. Okay, so their other card was a Brainstorm. Okay, what we really don't want to see here is another Therapy. I think anything else and we're probably good to go. What do you flip off electric ray, which we knew, so smart move. So their hand is electric ray and two cards we don't know, one of which might be a wasteland. So they can't have both a live force and a live days. which means we can duress them on our turn. And if they have a daze in the force and they let duress resolve, we'll just take the daze. And if they daze us, we'll just maybe not pay for it. All right, so let's just go over the plan here. The plan is to fetch Volcanic, then go, we'll have four lands. We can make four becomes seven, becomes 10, becomes nine, becomes seven, becomes four, oh, sorry, three after 
pass in flames and we'll, yeah, we'll just win. So unless they have two relevant cards, we should be okay. Yeah, they have nothing. Good times. Well, they had to pierce, so. So sweet, we get to win. As long as we remember to tap the correct mana. Past in flames, thank you. All right, so just going through the motions here. Let's grab the infernal tutor to grab the tendrils. Uh, All right, awesome. Hooray, we get to 5 0 this Legacy League. Really stoked about that. Um, playing our list here, we only faced the Force of Wildak in the last round, so it was a bit of an odd league. Uh, but hopefully, you got a sort of an impression of, of, the, of the format. and and what we're facing. Thankfully, we didn't face a Chalice of the Void deck, so really happy about that. But yeah, that's it for me. Uh, if you like what you saw, you can subscribe to my channel, or you can uh, check out uh, the videos on Snap Cardster, where, which is a site that I'm also being uploaded onto, so really happy about that. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll be back with more Legacy action. Bye-bye.